Welcome to Being at Home with George. I'm excited to be here. And as usual, let's create the possibility of embracing whatever comes up, saying yes to it, and at the same time, generating the hope. So a little recognition of Sunday being Father's Day. Definitely want to recognize that. And also on Monday, the recognition of Juneteenth. And so what is Juneteenth? On June 19th, 1865, nearly two years after President Abraham Lincoln emancipated enslaved Africans in America, Union troops arrived in Galveston Bay, Texas, with news of freedom. More than 250,000 African Americans embraced freedom by executive decree and what became known as Juneteenth or Freedom Day. So let's talk about this idea of Freedom Day and this idea of getting an executive decree, having somebody telling you, you are free. And this idea of internal decree, because we have ways of hiding out or being locked up where we don't know we're free and we're not recognizing that. So I'd like to use this opportunity as a time to understand that no matter what happens to us, if we program ourselves, train ourselves the way we talk about stuff here, that we can go from being enslaved, not having space between stimulus and response, and then creating space. And in that space, we have the freedom and power to choose. And so we started off this conversation with creating a possibility of being able to embrace whatever comes up to say yes to it, and at the same time, generating the hope with the understanding that we have this ability to have self-awareness and self-regulation, that we can choose our response no matter what happens to us. We can always choose our response. And I find it fascinating that Viktor Frankl talked about this in his book, Man's Search for Meaning, when he was in a concentration camp. And he talked about that his liberty was taken away from him, but he had freedom. He had the freedom to choose how he was going to respond to whatever was coming at him. So let's choose wisely because we have the freedom and power to choose when we can create space. We can choose love, we can choose compassion, we can choose joy, and we can choose to be more inclusive and realize just like me, the other person has this ability to be free. So let's create an environment and let's talk about this inner freedom as well as external freedom and realizing that if we're not all free, then no one's free. So let's just practice, let's just show up and choose. So we can do that regardless of what the situation is. Say yes and choose wisely.